Hey everyone, it's hashtag Ask Lauren. So I always get a lot of questions about what vitamins and supplements I take, especially because I'm vegan and everyone's curious. So sometimes I reply to you individually in the DMs, but um, I thought this particular topic deserved its own dedicated video. So I just want to give a big thanks as well to Nature's Way for sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. So you could pretty much ask a dozen vegans what they take for vitamins and supplements and get a dozen different answers. So this isn't really a video about what you should be doing or my advice to you. It's just what I take and what I do for myself because everybody's different. One thing you might want to do is get a blood test or a quick checkup just to see if you're low in iron or B12 because those are usually two important ones for vegans. The thing that helps me the most with maintaining my immune system so that I feel my best is Nature's Way oregano oil and these come in veg friendly caps so there's no gelatin and Nature's Way makes some of the highest quality herbal supplements and they source ingredients from all over the world in their indigenous region so you know you're getting something great and you can take a liquid oregano but I find it's too strong it burns my mouth and my throat I don't like it so this is just super easy if you watch my channel really closely then you know that I was taking a liquid b12 forever but when I was in LA recently someone told me that taking a b comp complex is better. So I've been taking it like every other day. I haven't noticed a huge difference, but I figure it's probably good to get all the bees in my body. I've also been recently taking reishi mushroom to support my immune system. This comes in powder, tincture, capsule form, so you can do it however you want. Um, and also colloidal silver, which is something I started taking when I was sick in Los Angeles, if you watch that vlog. And so it's something you don't wanna take every day. You can just take it right before you travel. And reishi mushroom you can actually take every day. So I've been taking it feel pretty good and I think it's working. Now when I do feel like I need an immune boost, I take Camo Camo, which is a super high concentration of vitamin C, which comes in capsules or powder form. And I have both on hand usually at the same time, but I usually use the powder to throw into smoothies. Okay, magnesium has been a lifesaver. This was one I started with um, a while ago. My naturopath recommended it for menstrual cramps totally worked and then sometimes I take it before bed and I sleep way better. Okay, probiotics, uh, these are all the rage. Everyone talks about probiotics all the time and I feel like just like with the amount of fermented foods I eat and the diet that I maintain as a vegan, I do eat a lot of probiotic rich foods. So I don't take a supplement of this every day but normally just when I remember or think of it or when I think that my gut health might be compromised. So you just wanna look for a vegan friendly one in a veg friendly capsule. Of course as a vegan, you're probably getting a lot of your vitamins and minerals from food sources that you consume on a regular basis but if you're like me sometimes you're not always eating the things that you should be eating. Um, ginger is something that I eat a lot of. I cook with it and I juice it. Um, but some people don't like the taste. I've heard a lot of people complain about that. So if you want to try taking Nature's Way ginger, you can just take it in another veg-friendly capsule and you can get your supplement this way. Another one is Nature's Way Curica turmeric. Um, this is just more of a concentrated dose of turmeric so you can get the benefits of it. Um, and there's other like food-based dietary supplements you can incorporate into your diet if it's something that you're not normally cooking with or consuming. Now from time to time I also take a liquid or a capsule vitamin D supplement. You just have to really look carefully for a vegan source vitamin D. Something I normally just take in the winter here in Canada because there's less sun. It's not something I take every single day. And from time to time I also take a vegan friendly DHA. So for a vegan friendly DHA it's sourced from algae whereas other ones are normally fish oil based. So just make sure you look for a vegan algae based DHA supplement. And again these are not things I take every day. They're just from time to time and that's what works for me. So that's what I take for supplements. It's it's not a huge list, it's definitely manageable. And because I'm not taking them every single day, I also feel like it's not overwhelming. So I just wanna thank Nature's Way again for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. You can go check out their website, naturesway.com, for all the supplements and see what might work for you. The ones I mentioned are all linked in the description below as well. And remember, this is just what I do. It doesn't mean you have to take these things that I mentioned. So make sure you really listen to your body and figure out what works best for you. So if you have any more Ask Lauren questions, leave them in the comments below, use the hashtag Hashtag, hashtag ask Lauren that way I can search and find the questions and I will be doing these from time to time when I get nice and juicy questions and I feel like talking a lot thanks so much for watching follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Lauren Toyota and Snickle says at Snickle says and I'll see you guys soon bye